Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a magical Cinderella cake inspired by the new Disney Cinderella movie. Cinderella's ball gown was so amazing as she runs to get back in the carriage it reveals the layers of fabric that are underneath and the back of the dress just floats out behind her. To make this cake you will need a double quantity of my sponge cake recipe baked in two 8 inch tins and a 1 litre heat proof bowl. The recipe for the sponge cake and the frosting and all the amounts of fondant that you'll need are on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll link to that in the description below the video. Once you've filled your two tins and your bowl, you'll have some mixture left over and I want you to bake that in another 8 inch round cake tin because we'll be using that as well for the back of the dress and some other bits. For the frosting, make up a white chocolate ganache and cool it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours and then add it to one batch of vanilla buttercream and mix them together and the recipe for those are on the website. Place a cake board onto a plate so that you can get your hands underneath it to turn it. Add a bit of frosting to stop the cake slipping and then add your first sponge cake on top of that. Spread out a thin layer of frosting over it and make sure your cakes are completely cooled and level off the tops of them before you start assembling the cake. I'm adding some sprinkles to the frosting between the layers just to make it pretty when it's sliced. Then add your next sponge cake on top of that and more frosting. Then add the bowl shaped cake on top of that one. Using a serrated knife, cut a small hole down the centre of your cake and you don't want it to be too big because we want it to hold the doll in place. We want Cinderella to be running, not just standing still. So put one leg forward and cut down one side of the cake so that we've got a slit going down it. Then add the straight leg into the centre and the other leg into the split part of the cake and rearrange the doll until you're happy with the position of her foot and making sure her body is upright. Now we want to fill that gap. Using the smaller sponge cake that we made, cut a chunk and shape it to fit the gap and add some frosting and put it into place. Now with the rest of the cake that you've got left over there, cut out a couple of curved shapes. They can be as big or small as you like and then add them to the back of the cake so we've got that flowing effect to the back of the dress. Now where her foot is, we want to take some cake away so that we have room to add frills but that we can still see a little bit of her leg and her foot which will have a glass slipper on it, we'll make it look like that later. Now for some shaping, we want to smooth out the curves over the dress so it looks like it's flowing around like fabric. We don't want hard edges and we want to shave off just a little bit at a time. Down the back of the dress, make it smooth where the different cakes join to each other so there aren't lumps and bumps there, so it just flows down. At the front of the dress, when Cinderella is running, it sits a bit flatter on the stomach area, so just trim off that bulging bit. Now for our crumb coat. Take a small amount of frosting and melt it in the microwave or over a double boiler to make it liquid, and then spoon it over the cake and spread it out. When you have a really fresh crumbly cake like this, I like to do it this way because it's easier to get that thin layer of frosting without pulling chunks off the cake and making the cake have holes in it. So you can just spread it out with this liquidy melted frosting, you can spread it out really thinly. Once it's completely covered, refrigerate it for about 10 minutes or until you can touch it without it being sticky. Put the rest of the frosting into a piping bag and just pipe it onto the cake. It doesn't matter what pattern you do it in, just like colouring it in just to give a layer of frosting on there. Then use a spatula to spread that out and smooth it and take off any excess frosting. Once you're happy with that, place it back in the fridge. Mix some different coloured fondant. Now in the movie the layers of the dress underneath are blue and green and lavender, lilac and white so you can mix a range of colours there. Take a piece of one of your colours, roll it into a snake and then using a rolling pin flatten it so it's about this thick. Then use a fondant tool and you can get these fairly cheaply online or from cake decorating stores and roll it along one edge just to thin out that edge so it kind of ruffles up. If you don't have one of these, then you could use the back of a teaspoon instead. That gives you some ruffles, but we want to make folds along the back edge of our fondant as well. If you have Tylo's powder, adding that to your fondant before you start making your frills will make it dry out quicker and hold its shape faster. Flatten that side at the back there and trim off the excess fondant. Now grab your cake out of the fridge and add some flat fondant behind her leg. 
then take the frill that we just made and add it into place going over her leg. Now you're going to need some screwed up pieces of non-stick baking paper to hold up that frill until that fondant dries out. Continue to add more frills, little sections at a time are easiest to work with and use your tool to make sure the ruffles are round and open and looking curved. We also want to add one or two layers of frills around the base of the dress going the whole way around the cake. And make sure you have a nice shape of frills coming down the side there so that her dress can drape down along that line. So you want to make sure you've got a smooth line of frills. Now roll out a nice piece of blue fondant and using the same tool as we did before, make the ruffles along the bottom edge. Then flip it over and rub a little bit of water onto the back of the fondant so that it will stick to the cake and then drape it over the back of the cake, lining up the frill at the base so you can just see the other frills peeking out. As it narrows and comes in towards her waist, just pinch it in to make pleats sort of things in it and use scissors to cut off the excess. Using the same tool that we used for the ruffles, just gently make indents in the fondant flowing in the direction of the dress. In the same way, add a piece of fondant to each side, allowing it to bunch up a bit around those front frills so that you've got like a, a bit of the fabric bunching up. Smooth it and trim it around the back and blend it in where it joins so it just looks like a crease in the fabric. And that will be easiest if you cut it on an angle going down in line with the direction that the fabric on the dress is flowing. Wrap a piece of fondant around the body, smoothing it at the back. Then cut another piece in the shape of the front of the body with a V shape at the base and add it to the front there. And once that's in place, use your knife to cut the shape of the top of the dress off and take that excess fondant away. Add a couple of lines going up the dress on each side and repeat that at the back. Apparently for the movie it took 20 minutes to get the corset and the dress on the actress and if she ate anything while she was wearing it she was in pain. I think it was a little bit too tight. Make one more frill and add it around the top of the dress and flatten it down in the centre. Roll out some pale blue fondant really thinly and then use a straw to cut four tiny circles and place them almost in a square shape overlapping in the middle. Then use a knife to make two indents down the centre and add them to the top of the dress for butterflies. Add some cream coloured ones too, using a tiny bit of water to make them stick. Now for some magical sparkle. Brush on some white lustre dust onto those frills and onto the dress. Cover her shoes in white lustre dust and for the shoe I used a little bit of clear alcohol to make the white lustre stick to that plastic there. Then add a gold butterfly so it looks more like the glass slipper in the movie. And Cinderella is ready to go to the ball. The ball gown for the movie took a team of 20 people, a total of 500 hours to make. And you can make this beautiful Cinderella cake in a day. And if you want fireworks from the castles, just use the Surprise Cakes app. Add it to your backdrop. The bigger you make the marker, the bigger the fireworks will be. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here to see more of my videos, here for last week's magic chocolate flour dessert and here for the How To Cook That website. Have a great week and I'll see you all on Friday.